Now, videos showing Super Bowl parties and dancing crowds are sparking super spreader concerns, not just in Tampa, the host city for the game this year, but all across the U.S., and that includes Southern California, where the spread of COVID remains high. Joining us right now, clinical nurse Alice Benjamin. Thank you once again for being with us. Thank you for having me. Okay, where do we begin? There was a call to stay home, enjoy the game with only people you live with, your little pod or household. Hypothetically, let's say you didn't do that. Maybe there was a backyard barbecue, indoor event. What do you do now the Monday after? Well, not hypothetically, but I think a lot of people are in that situation and they're getting nervous, right? So after an event like that, where you've been in close contact with people, unsure if they have COVID or not, uh, you'll want to quarantine yourselves and monitor for any signs or symptoms of COVID-19. You're looking for that cough, fever, chills, uh, vague muscle aches, any type of GI symptoms, um, and just, you know, Uh, quarantine yourself for those 14 days to make sure that you do not develop symptoms. Um, Usually within that 14 day period, you will have developed symptoms if you do have uh, exposure to coronavirus. So uh, that's something that people really need to be mindful of. A lot of people won't stay home for 14 days in quarantine. When do the first symptoms really start to show up? So I know they don't want to stay in quarantine. It's challenging. You want to get back to some normal life. You got things to do. I get it. But Um, anytime after exposure, anywhere from two to 14 days, you can develop symptoms. Most people will develop symptoms anywhere between day five and day eight. But Colleen, I'll be honest, I've seen the whole spectrum. I've seen some people who develop symptoms right away and some people to that very last 13 or 14th day before they develop symptoms. Now, we're talking about the symptoms. We all know a lot of people who've had COVID at this point, and they all describe it differently uh, from a scratchy throat to uh, intense symptoms. Should you, if you were at one of these gatherings and you have a little bit of a scratchy throat or something, should you just ignore it and say, eh, you know, it might be, it might be allergies, I'm not sure, do you get tested? Um, you should not ignore the symptoms. You'll definitely want to get tested. Now, uh, depending on when you're exposed, you know, if you were uh, with someone maybe just yesterday, today is not the day to get tested. You'll need to actually wait three or four days before you should get tested. But don't ignore any type of symptoms. We know that some people will present with mild symptoms and some can be very, very severe. So either way, if you're not feeling your normal, usually healthy self, it's something you need to take note of. Make sure you're documenting, you know, when symptoms appear, how severe they are. Um, and definitely want to get tested and let the people in your immediate household know what's going on. You want to try as much as possible to prevent any type of transmission. So even if you think you might have a little something, you know, stay clear from everyone else in the household. A lot of times people say, well, I don't have a fever. I should be okay, right? But you don't necessarily have to have a fever, do you? No, you don't. Fever is just one of the symptoms of COVID-19. You can have symptoms anywhere from a fever, a cough, shortness of breath, uh, loss of taste or smell. You can have nausea, vomiting or diarrhea and kind of just just general body aches. So no one really gets sick uh, the same way. That's why you're hearing reports of various symptoms. You know, some will have two of the three, some will have all of the symptoms and the severity um, is different between person to person. But the most important thing is, is if you are not your usual self. Even if you think it's my allergies or maybe it's a little cold or, you know, you just feel like, oh, I've just been under a lot of stress. Don't take that for granted. You'll want to take all the precautions to protect yourself and protect those around you. All right, Nurse Alice, as always, thank you. And we have to keep in mind, it just takes one person. Absolutely. Thank you, Colleen. Thanks.